What's good? Welcome to Ari Roars. This is Ari speaking. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be talking about fashion, specifically the spring, summer 2024 fashion trends as represented on the runway. This is my dog Louie in the background, by the way. Say hey Louie. All, all right now. There we go. Now what you're going to gain from this video is more so an overview type of approach so that you can take it and put your own spin and interpretation on the trends rather than me telling you the specific items. I felt like I should have taken this approach to it because there's so much availability of the information on the specific pieces. So I'm still going to incorporate those things and the specific details and whatnot. But more than anything, I want to touch on the colors and the aesthetics and themes and how those are related to the specific items and specific details of pieces. However, this won't be the only video where I'm addressing fashion trends this season, so don't worry if you still want the other types of information in the future. I'm going to be including some photos from runway shows that I gathered specifically from these websites where I was doing my research. So I have all of the websites linked where I found the information and certain ones are the ones where I got the photos from. I don't really remember which ones, but just trust that it's somewhere in there. So without further ado, if this sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. Haters imitators and conflators, men they all the same. Hard to win the match when being players of a lawless game. Trying to shake the ground so they can't help except to call. Okay, so for starters, I was analyzing these photos, not just looking at specifically what the website said was the trend, but also just trying to analyze it and perceive them for myself. And I found a lot of confirmations of what I was looking at, but I also uncovered a few other things from my creative eye. I'm going to start with colors, and the first is the category of neutrals. And I saw that there was a specific website referring to them as latte. These kind of brown, creamy brown colors, light brown colors. I thought this was not too surprising, especially considering over the past, let's say three or four years, there have been a lot of brownish neutral colors, but now it's really focusing on this lighter hues. I've been seeing the off-white colors and I've also been seeing a lot of white and they specifically refer to this as like the bridal wedding dress type of vibe and i'll talk a little bit more about that later but there have been a lot of white dresses specifically and i feel like this is gonna sound a little bit cliche and like kind of obvious it's really hard to not see a lot of black everywhere but i've specifically been seeing a lot of black and silver together or sometimes black and white but especially black and silver to the point where i felt like it was definitely a trend and something that was really popping off this season. I took so many examples of this that I was like, there's too many to put into the video, so I'm just gonna try and compress it. And this is especially interesting because black and silver, but gold is one of the major colors for the season. So I don't see a lot of black and gold, but I see a lot of gold. They're having like the gold metallic look. It's cool, it actually kind of reminds me of the 80s, and I did see that someone mentioned the 80s was kind of on trend right now, just a little bit. I don't think it's like that major, but I'm definitely seeing that metallic gold coming through a whole lot and it's trickling into some aesthetics that I'll be mentioning later in this video. Shades of red are still sticking around. You're seeing your general bright, bold, clear, straight on red, but I'm also seeing some ox blood red, some burgundy, some brick red, different varieties of red, and you just can't go wrong with that. I love red. <laughs> Then for pinks, there's definitely this baby pink, this millennial pink is what they were calling it. There's a lot of that. I'm still seeing some hot pink sprinkled in as well, but the light baby pink, millennial pink is definitely a go this season. And there are a ton of greens out there. I'm seeing a lot of olive green, this chartreuse, which it's not that I'm seeing a whole lot of chartreuse, it's just that I'm specifically seeing chartreuse. It's like this yellowish green and the fact that this color is repeating itself is so unique that it's definitely worth mentioning as well as like this really pale light green this almost minty-ish color green minus the blue i don't know what the like really pale green color is called but those are definitely not the only greens that i've been seeing and that are popular but these are like the three most important ones for me to me <laughs> i've also seen multiple blues like a baby blue but i excluded that from this video for the most part navy blue 
super big thing, especially with the workwear and preppy kind of country club wear that we're going to be talking about soon. Navy blue has been making a statement this season as well. Now, one of the absolute biggest color trends that I've noticed for this season is the butter yellow color. It's like this really soft, pale yellow. It's adorable. It's just like a baby doll type of color. And I'm all for it. I don't think it would totally look good on me, but I like the fact that it's a thing right now. <laughs> Same goes for lilac. There are these like really soft, cute colors happening, which I'm a fan of, especially for the spring. Lilac is one of them and I'm seeing it in a lot of dresses and really gentle feminine looks like that. Now there are seven aesthetics or themes that I wanted to talk about in this video and I've already touched on a few of them going through the colors, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into them specifically now. First is romantic and this is incorporating not only that bridal or what I like to call bride-to-be aesthetic because they're not like wedding dresses but there are these white dresses that I feel like someone who's about to get married would be wearing a lot of these dresses. I'm seeing that, I'm seeing a lot of floral prints and ruffles and bows. They're having rosettes or little rose forms on the dresses which is really beautiful on the runway. Then those kind of wedding dress fabrics like chiffon, taffeta, silk, anything gauzy, organza, all those things on the dresses and on the pieces this season. And another thing about the bride-to-be concept is that on one of these websites, I saw a mention of seeing these white suits, which are like bride suits rather than wedding dresses, you know? And speaking of suits, workwear is a major trend this season. And this is really simple and straightforward. You have suits, you have blazers, shirts, like actual button-down shirts, high-rise trousers are a thing. And then basically a light version of the workwear is this country club, preppy kind of polo club vibe with these polo shirts, rugby shirts. They're having these rugby stripes, a lot of like plaid and gingham. This like schoolgirl wear that's paired with active wear, polo. That's just the best way you can describe it. I think this one's cool. I've definitely seen a lot of like this stuff rising up around 2020, 2021 ish. And I just like to see that this is still kind of going. Another one is the modern flapper from the 1920s, kind of bringing that vibe in. It's coming with the glitter, the sequins, the metallics, as well as like a drop waist dress. They're coming with fringe and feathers on the dresses, specifically like the um, muscle kind of cut where it's like sleeveless but wide seeing a lot of that with dresses that go down towards the knee area but the thing about it is they're not all just like this really specific flapper style dress sometimes they just are a dress that's gold with fringe or sometimes it's just some kind of dress that reminds you of the style in a modern you know spruced up type of way not so costumey now this next one is something that i've personally picked up on on my own and i feel like a lot of people would be like hmm i didn't really see that but I definitely saw it and I have to mention it. It's like this ancient Grecian style. We're seeing the white dresses that are very drapey and getting a lot of these drapey fabrics, bringing that in with the modern flapper style and the color gold. And it's really hard to miss that there is this like ancient Grecian aesthetic going on. But hey, I saw it, so can't be the only one. <laughs> Next is the crafty style, just kind of like something you put together on your own type of vibe. It looks really cute and cool and childlike. It's really hard to describe this in any word other than crafty, but you're just seeing like beads placed on it. Really anything that looks like it's placed on top, like little poofs and beads and obviously the flowers like we mentioned earlier, as well as applique and crochet. These styles really scream craft. And I noticed this as I was looking through and then I got to one of the websites that kind of confirmed it for me. So I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'm not crazy. It's really a thing <laughs> this season. And lastly is the 90s. The 90s are back, y'all. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? 90s minimalist to be specific, I mean, there's like two extremes with the 90s. You have this really bright, bold, geometric, colorful, and like streetwear type of grungy style. But this is more so the minimal, kind of narrow, straight, slinky, long lines, 
very simple outfit, simple dress style. It is coming with the sheer fabrics. It's coming with muted tones, neutral tones, dark tones, subdued colors, very minimalist chic. When I saw the pictures that were being associated with this, I wasn't too excited, but I think it's gonna look even better in real life than on the runway, which usually is kind of like opposite in a way, but I think this being expressed in day-to-day -day style is going to give us this new sense of like class and sophistication, which I can look forward to for sure. So yeah, that's all I got for you. I hope that this video was informative and inspiring for you. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, then like it and I'll see you next time. Bye.